Got a nice moose antler from Alaska. They've been out in the weather, that buddy of mine gave me. And it had been in the weather too long. And I spent a couple of weeks having fun with hot hide glue and submerging it with that and thinking of a pressure cooker to drive it in more. And put it all back in. And some of the hollow areas I sprinkled the what the hell was that? My wife got it at the Diatomation Surf. You know, they use it for fillers and stuff. They make one that's real fine for uh, giving it to animals to kill the tapeworms and stuff in the intestines. And I just mix that in the hot glue and let it suck up in the animal. What do you talk about? A silica, <laughs> silicosis breathing monster. That thing would gain weight. <laughs> it would have a bite. And, but you can reconstitute some of the animals. Anyway, you're going through, if you try this with, uh, I was cutting out with a nice, real sharp, some dry hickory, and this has done pretty good, and that's not the sharpest angle, and this is the one I use for demoing on rough places and over stripes and stuff like this, but you can find, say on this one, this handle's gonna be too long for what I want. Start here, and you find a round spot and you use the round back of that to catch into that to guide it. So with a little practice on a good day, you can flute them all the way around, make a nice pattern. And that's very nice on the hands too, because when you're using an ax, you know, you don't want it. You want those things to be kind of rectangular or oval, but hey, not round around. 